night better suited perhaps to be in a ski lodge somewhere. But we're at Coors Field in Colorado. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Columbus Clippers and the Sugarland Skeeters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome your Sugarland Skeeters. Number 35 will be tasked with the starting pitching assignment for the away team. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now into the box, Gabriel Arias. And we are set for baseball here this evening. One one home. Oh, that cool. And we are a long way from summer tonight, and even 40 degrees at first pitch. The two one takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. up here comes the 2 2 pitch a swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away wow that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode that pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone and he still swung at it standing in now Tyler Krieger one and two now is that one's fouled off Verlander gets the sign. Here's the delivery. This is on the ground over to first. Reined in. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What's this club going to need to focus on this evening, Mark? Well, Maddie, the key to hitting the course field is the fact that there's so much outfield ground. For those guys to have to cover there's a lot of base hits don't don't fall in love with the fact that you're going to drive the ball out of the park that's going to happen naturally with just a good approach and a good pass at the baseball but there's a lot of ground to cover in that outfield which screams there are a lot of hits to be had and he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two i know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. We're just underway here in Denver. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Adolf is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Verlander on point to start this one. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Number 36 gets the ball for the away side in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. So stepping in is Ross Adolph. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. Aye. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. 
It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. 3-2 pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He's there and records the first down. Batting second. The second Chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Down the third baseline. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. He takes three. strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. That is good. Next, it'll be Ronnie Dawson looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit out towards second. Right to him. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Second inning upcoming here in Denver with no score. All set for the start of the inning, and the next to bat will be Josh Naylor. Slapped hard the opposite way, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. So now to the plate, Daniel Johnson. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. To second for one, on the first, the double play. So base is empty now after the double play and that'll bring up the outfielder George Valera no offer on that one two balls and a strike. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Taylor Jones. Here comes the one two is looked at off the plate for a ball. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right Got there. Good. Got it to bend a no, lot by the time it got there no, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate now, number 13. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And he'll whip this.
this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. That Had to good. protect there with two no strikes, field. and he just got it no off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. In now, Jordan Brewer. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And we'll flip it on to first, and with it, that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Striding in is Ernie Clement, 789, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. To the plate now, Ryan LaVarnway. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. That's back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one without a doubt is gone. A solo shot here to straight away right field as they get on the board first it's one to nothing. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. At the plate, Aaron Braccio. To short. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft rounder for the out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Gabriel Arias. Here now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom of the third coming up. Columbus is out in front, one to nothing. of the third now and coming forward now is the shortstop for Yudis Nova and he looks at one in there one and two hey that's a great job by the pitcher right there stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt swing and a liner a leap but he can't bring it down base hit Lead off knock right there, Dan. How frustrating is it to let that lead off guy get on? Well, every pitch you want to get that first guy out, you know, it, it, you, the chances of scoring runs are so much more slim when you get that first guy out. Traffic on the bases, now you have to pitch out of the stretch. It's never easy for the pitcher. Into the box, Robo Garcia. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. 
popped him up. Bracho is there. One out. Batting ninth, the catcher, Garrett. Stubbs. So next to bat will be Garrett Stubbs. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Nova stands at first with one out. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in. Here comes the one two. Misses for two the ball. second ball. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball out of here into the visitors bullpen. So it's a two run shot to right center as they take the lead. It's two to one. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Stepping in now, Ross Adolph. And he pops him up back behind second base. Bracho shading to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Marwin Gonzalez. Bases are empty here with two away, and into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire, Marwin Gonzalez. Two out, nobody on. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Outside and a full count, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The three-two pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locate. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We're through three here in Denver, and it's now a two-to-one ball game. Ready now is Tyler Krieger comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That ball is. Lifted in the air to center field. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. The batter, the third baseman, Nolan Jones. So next to hit is Nolan Jones. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. 
fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher's standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Standing in now, Josh Naylor. This one's down to third. He's got it. Over to first, and that retires the side. for the last half of the inning and next to bat will be the outfielder Ronnie Dawson oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out that has to make you feel really good as a pitcher right you're making the pitches all around the, the zone baseman. and then you bring that Taylor. one inside you can't do anything no. with it what does it do it just locks you up inside you have no chance to put the ball in play In now, Taylor Jones. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Valera is under this one. And he's got it for out number two. Now batting. Number 13. Now at the plate, number 13. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. Hey, Good dude. breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. That's a dangerous pitch right there. Down and in slider for a called strike. He misses a little bit out over the heart of the plate. And that ball might not come back. That didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Johnson takes the turn at third. He wants it all. The tag, and he's safe. It's a 2 2 game. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. So now to the plate, George Valera. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Fastball well outside. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. No outs, nobody on. And nope, a fastball ball misses there, ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch 
was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Next up, Ernie Clement. He went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch AVs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Uh-oh, he missed it. Takes a big swing here, but this winds up a little tapper to the left of the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe round. The batter, the catcher, Ryan LaVarnway. And now in the box, Ryan LaVarnway. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. The one-two. Nope. Out there. Is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The battle, the second base, Aaron Bracho. Stepping up is Aaron Bracho, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Two and one, here it is. Fouled away. A 2-2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. But he can't get to it. And that'll score the runner from second as it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Into the box now. Gabriel Arias nope, starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Two and two the count. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now. Three and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And that That's misses outside. ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, now the first back. thing you should do Let's is stop move. digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously Easy. hasn't heard that one. Stepping in next, Tyler Krieger flew out last time up. One and two now. One ball. Hey guys, that <laughs> fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Count still at one and two. Bracho on second. Arias on at first with two down. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over. So it's two runs here on two hits with one of them being the home run. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Clippers lead it three to two. Now to the plate. Here is Jordan Brewer. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. 
Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. To the plate now for Yudis Nova. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Johnson is there. Two down. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Robel Garcia. Next to hit is Robel Garcia. He flew out in his last A.B. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. And it's fouled away. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road. But to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The one two. He's down low and he gets the call. Strike three looking. Now it'll be Nolan Jones. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Solo shot to right center as they push the lead to four to two. Man, this has been a rough one for this guy so far. That's the third homer he's allowed today. He better start keeping the ball down in the strike zone or that total might continue to rise. Now time called here as the manager pops out of the first base dugout. And he's going to motion for the bullpen. That'll end the evening for Justin Verlander. Just five innings of work for him here as he really never found his rhythm in this one. Pedro Baez please. takes over on the mound now here with nobody out in the sixth here. inning. Number 52, Pedro Baez. Into the box, Josh Naylor. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Daniel. Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now, Daniel Johnson, and he fouls this one off. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Now batting, the center fielder, George. Now to the plate, George Valera. Valera. One one home That's misses ball, ball two right hander starts to loosen yeah, out in the bullpen now. Johnson base runner at first with one out. 
And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. From the stretch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Now Usually Matt, you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Striding forward now is the DH. Ernie Clement, he bounced out last time up. Two strikes. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ball back there. So two balls and two strikes now. He says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. On to the bottom of the sixth. Columbus is out in front, four to two. Garrett Stubbs will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Waits on it. One away. The right fielder, number two. Rob Adolph. Now to bat, Ross Adolph. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. to trail that time three and one now and now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen into his motion here comes the three and one we got a and it's up count. to a three two full count now got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there that was a really nice pitch and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter has to give here's the payoff pitch still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going another full count pitch home and he struck him out good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. And this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Stepping in now, Marwin Gonzalez. A little early, and now it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two-hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. him up Jones over to his right and that ends the inning
digging in will be Ryan LaVarnway. He's working on a one for two game so far. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Now the 2 2. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the yeah, inning. Man. That was a pretty the good at bat base. that he pushed the count Aaron. to three and two and made the pitcher Long work. Throw. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. At the plate, Aaron Braccio. Aye. Two and two. <laughs> Fouled off. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4 2 our score. Popped up. And there's out number two. Back, number 13, shortstop Gabriel Arias. Next, it'll be Gabriel Arias. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home. That's a ball. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Now the 2-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dawson is right there as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional Jonathan stretch. Your Nick Sandlin please. gets the call from the now pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 52. Nick. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Ronnie Dawson. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back, showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. The Ronnie Dawson is sent packing Taylor. to begin the bottom of the inning. So now to the plate, Taylor Jones. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ooh, wait, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start Go this back. inning. That's back-to-back -back haze, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Next to dig in, number 13. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. 
Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order and against the middle of the order, too. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try Back to get him fishing two there, two. but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. So a pitching clinic there as he sets him down in order all via the punch out. We're back at Coors Field in just a moment. Been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 64. New inning set to get underway, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Tyler Krieger. Now the 2 1 pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Brewer comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. The batter, the third base. Nolan. Nolan Jones will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Two balls and two strikes now. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. To the plate now, Josh Naylor pulled toward right center field. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. So a beautiful running catch on display that time as we get a look at it again with show track. He took a solid route, covered quite a bit of ground, 110 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. That's a catch to remember. In now Daniel Johnson swings One through ball. it for strike two number strikes. two Jones the runner at first with two gone got him swinging and that's the third out James Karinchek is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 99, James Karinchek. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next it'll be the outfielder, Jordan Brewer. Here comes the one-two. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And that's out number one. The batter, number one. Good stop. Ray Hoody. No ball. Stepping in once again is Freyudis Nova. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. So 
one one a bouncer to the left side and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out. The batter number three designated hitter Garcia. and now Robo Garcia they're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lifted into center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So now to the plate, George Valera. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Lifted down the line and left. And foul. Another full count pitch home. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box, Ernie Clement. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Ryan LaVarnway will be next. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. This one's flared down the right field line, and that's in there. Base hit. It's a nice job by the batter right there. Able to fight off a high fastball and slap the it the other way for a single. Ryan LaVardway. Into the box now. Ryan LaVardway fouled away. This is in the air to right. Adolf is there. Two down. Now that the second base. Aaron. Next to hit, Aaron Bracho has got a hit in three at bats to this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Clement leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Two balls, two strikes. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The Clippers lead it 4 to 2. 
Cam Hill comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 27, Cam Hill. And now here is Garrett Stubbs. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Arias has a play. One away. The right fielder, number two, Ross. Adolph. Next to stand in is Ross Adolph. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 2 1 home. Swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Two run game last of the night with two away. Three and one. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. The three one. on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Fielded cleanly oh. on to first and that's your ball game. Hey this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Four to two the final score tonight. The Columbus Clippers used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Giancarlos Mejia takes home the win. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Clippers four runs seven hits no errors they left five men on base for the Skeeters two runs on just two hits no errors and they left no runners on base time of the ball game two hours and 46 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening we remind you to please Drive home safely.